Hi guys. Well, it's been a fair while since um, I last put up a, a video. Just give you a bit of a brief insight as to um, where I've been and what I've been doing. Well, this last week I've just paid a visit to some of my friends over in Foxton, which is close to the hospital in which I will be going to uh, very shortly. But prior to all that, um, I've been really doing not a lot, just sitting at home, waiting, doctor's appointments, blood blood checks, all that sort of thing, um, in preparation for, as, as you know, my visit to um, the hospital to be seen to for my prostate cancer. So, as I said, I had a visit with my friends over here in Foxton. I'm currently now heading home, back to Havelock North, where I normally reside. I enjoyed my little time out with um, my friends over there. Um, I kept myself busy um, because over in Havelock, back at home, I had to give up employment because of various bits and pieces. So I've been helping my friends sort of redo the interior of their house. Uh, a few little building repairs to be done and also painting it up to make it look a little bit more fresher and really more presentable, which I must say myself was really good and it was really relaxing for me even although every day I was out there painting um, it was a very very relaxing experience so I'm just now heading back home for a couple of reasons I've got to pick up some medication stuff and then um, I've got a visit to the hospital which is quite away from my normal place of residence again. So I'm hoping to have all that done and dusted by Friday of this week. And then obviously we'll just um, see how things flow from there. But I do believe that I have got the opportunity of getting into hospital in Palmerston North um, sooner rather than later. So I won't know until at least tomorrow being Tuesday or Wednesday whether that's actually going to come to fruition or not but yeah I'm just keep my fingers crossed and um, hope that everything that I'm looking forward to falls into place um, as I expect it to so um, yeah I've just enjoyed a nice relaxing few days over at my friend's house on the farm with the horses and doing some repair works as I said and painting well I'm for me I I feel really relaxed now and just um, looking forward to getting home and um, looking forward to getting into hospital and have things done so with all that in mind, I'm just enjoying this lovely trip, as you can see, up over the the, um, the saddle of um, Palmerston North. And it's quite a nice trip over here. And they say that because even though you're stuck behind a, a heavy vehicle, as you can see in front, and climbing a hill and going nice and slow, it's still quite relaxing. It's quite a nice view from up here. And in the last few years, They've installed a lot of very, very large windmills. Yeah, you probably saw one or two further back on this um, little drive that we've, we're have we going through now. But there is hundreds and hundreds of these windmills up here because it is a very, very windy part of New Zealand. Palmerston North is renowned for its wind and rain. But when you get a good summer day here it's absolutely stunning and amazing so I'm just um, chilling relaxing and um, having a nice quiet drive through as you can see there in the distance um, 
the old blades of the windmill going around. There is a couple of little spots up the top here where um, we get pretty close to them. They're basically on the roadside and the enormity of them is just unbelievable. When you look from a distance, you know, to those windmills, they, they look very tiny, but they're not. Actually, when you get alongside them, they're a hundred meters high. And on the top of them, you'll see little boxes. Well, what looks like little boxes, that's actually a large area inside where all the mechanisms and you know and the power is generated and, and uh, pushed through into the grid you can walk around in there it's like a small bedroom here we go we're, we're coming up to them now it's just like small bedroom my god they're, they're, they're so so huge really um, yeah so there are hundreds and hundreds of these things in and around and um, I'll just get past this truck first I didn't know whether he was going to slow down for us or not anyway as you can see there they're pretty big uh, so anyway guys just enjoy the little trip I'm going to stop talking for a little while and um, yeah just enjoy the view That's it, we're just about over the top of the saddle. We've still got a, a, a fair way to go. I'm just gonna love you and leave you there. Um, it was just a bit of a video, just give you an idea. And I was a little bit bored anyway driving on my own. So um, yeah, there's a bit of a view of um, where we're heading in the distance. Long way to go, probably still got about another 180 kilometers to go. So anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you from there guys. Take care and um, enjoy. Thanks for looking in. Bye-bye.